play free now. I need a real tour. This is a film about love. It's about very large themes. All my hopes go with you and now. I certainly feel a great deal of compassion for her. I think she was doing the absolute best she could do to really ensure that her children had a future. Armageddon Time is now a New York Times critic's pick. <laughs> Time Magazine hails it as extraordinary. Let's go. The Los Angeles Times raves. It's powerful. A triumph. America, the land of dreams. Armageddon Time. Rated R. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. They've been yes, here sir. times. And we said it's only right yes, to give these brothers their flowers. That's right. We have the Migos in the building. <laughs> Quavo, take yes, off, sir. offset. It, it's good to see y'all, man. It's a celebration. Right. It is. We, we, we celebrate y'all. I saw yeah, offset. I, I think it was offset last year who said that y'all don't get y'all flowers. Yeah. Have you, have you feel like that's changed a little bit? I smell it right yeah, now. Yeah, they, 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 didn't, they didn't gave it back. They didn't been delivered to the door. Smell them, smell them. <laughs> I do smell them, absolutely. They literally I bought you flowers. We did. We, 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 we got the balloons <laughs> for y'all. Bring the flowers. Bring the flowers. Uh, I smell them. I say, I smell now, them. now, mind you, it says coach it too because the third the one third deflated. One, yeah, the third one oh, my God. This is terrible. We, bought y'all some, we got y'all some flowers. Uh, three dozen that. roses for the Migos. We just want to give y'all some flowers today. you want to sit we got some other flowers for y'all too. That's three and a half grams with some good ass weed. Yeah, it's legal. It's legal now. Charlemagne trust us. No, my brother Wax got a weed line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlemagne trap. So the new album is out right now. We just want to say congratulations and let's go through it, man. I know you don't usually don't get interviews like this, but we want to show love, man. That's what right. 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 Y'all been the most impactful too, rap group of the past decade. Yes, sir, man. Right? So, you know, we got to celebrate that. I That's appreciate right. that. And y'all been working really hard. Thank you. Grinding. So let's talk about it. How long did it take to get Culture 3 finished? What, what was the process in recording this album? Because I know one lives in L.A., some live in Atlanta, some live somewhere else. And y'all been moves. talking about this album for like three years. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it took us like two and a half years. Every, like last summer we was getting ready in L.A. Um, we, we stayed in this house together. And we stayed there for like six months just going in and just piecing it up. We had like, I think like six or seven records from that time. It's still on the album. Um, we went to Miami too. Yeah, then we went to Miami. We were just taking like, like a little trip together and just. Did you have to reconnect in. the chemistry? Cause I mean, y'all, you know, y'all doing so many different things. Y'all had to sit there together and say, let's reconnect. I mean, we was already was recording through the pandemic since it, since it started. We already record, but you know what I mean, since that we was just putting. Since it was time to get the, uh, you know what I mean, the game back, we had to uh, just pick and choose and just. Going to got, you know what I'm saying, championship mode, grind mode. We Definitely. recorded everything together, and, too. And the chemistry there now. Mm -hmm. We won't forget that. Yeah, we grew up together, out. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We we already know what each other thinking, each other doing, we won't see each other. So it's, 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 it's magic when we get together. Did the money, did the money ever make y'all too comfortable? Nah. <laughs> nah. Damn, Not huh? even a little bit? Nah. Nah. I don't feel you like we ain't never stopped working. Charlamagne was kind of, like, upset because he was saying we sold the sauce. So we, was, we was selling the sauce too much, like. Coming from where we came from, mm -hmm. you gotta give them for the sauce. You gotta sell them the sauce, or else we sell them something else. But it feel like everybody took the Migos wave, <laughs> and y'all hadn't really capitalized on it the way I think y'all should have. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. I mean, I just, I think that's what we do it for to inspire. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, you're right. It's so different when we flash back to the first time y'all was up here, to where we are now. Offset was in jail. I wasn't yeah. 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 Offset was here. <laughs> Takeoff was the most we talkative. We shouted you out, though. Yeah. <laughs> Offset was in jail. Takeoff was the most talkative. <laughs> and Qua uh, Quavo Dreads was short. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a side-by-side -side or something. That was a long time ago. At, at what Man, point did y'all yeah. realize that if y'all don't start, like, speaking up and demanding your credit, y'all may y'all may not get it? It just came to the point where, uh, you know, you see, you see, you see, you see the people say, Little, say little things, you know what I mean? But it's, I feel like it's just we was missing. We just ain't putting a product out. I ain't but feel like. They was, still they were counting out groups, though. You know what I'm saying? They, they still do that they now. They was always talking about 
other artists. They don't never say nothing about groups or when they talk about single artists, they don't place us as one, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like we, we should, with this album, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we trying to stable ourselves as, as one whole artist, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and we do our things separately and together as a whole, Migos is a, it's one man band, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, and even if you don't get your credit, I think you, or ask for it, you work hard, you feel me? And it's just gonna show itself. Oh God. So How did this down. album evolve though, from when you guys first started doing it to where we are now? Cause I'm sure you had to push it back, the pandemic happened. So what was the process from where you started off, like this is what it's gonna be to where you got it to? It was like 60% done, like for yeah. like two years. Like, like these, la these, la these last records, like Justin Bieber, Drake. They become a last minute. Cardi. Best record. All them records came like two, three weeks ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we just made sure we laid down the foundation and then all the good shit started coming in. With the time, though, it was hard to chew, though, because we probably got like 700 songs Sheesh. recorded since we dropped it. I can show it in my, my media, too. Like, it's like 600 songs, 500, I got one, and he got one. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that? When that beat came through, who knew right away, oh, this is it? Shit, I cooked that beat up right yeah, there from scratch. Yeah, you Yeah. My boy Cook that beat up, me and DJ Durrell. Yeah, my boy Durrell. We be cooking up beats. Where, where, where were you listening at? Were you at the crib and it came on one of the old stations, or you was like, Mama, listening to this I record? I, it was just in my head, the Temptation song. And I was just like, I know we can rap on anything once we pull it up. And I was just like, Durrell, let's let's get it. I need you to goddamn pull this up. We went, we actually pulled it off of YouTube and then started working from there. Then Motown got the, you know what I'm saying? They, they, we, we with Motown the Temptation there too, so I just got the whole files set up in files and just broke it down and went to work. And when y'all heard it, y'all knew immediately that was it. Yeah, I heard it a lot, bro. It felt good. When I heard that bass line come in. Okay, first he was rapping on top for like, what, like 30 seconds and the bass line hit. I was like, ooh, yeah. this, is, this is smash. Papa Rosa Roller Stone, mm -hmm. they got Roller Stones in the best. Dang. <laughs> y'all ain't even got no hook. It feel like y'all just wanted to get on there and, and, and snap and let people know y'all, you know, y'all do this for real. Just walk on it. I saw Jay Z commented on that song. That first and foremost. Yeah. Shout out to Shout out to Is that the ultimate cosign? That's the ultimate cosign. It don't get no bigger than that. I'm telling you. He done made it to another planet. Rapping. Mm -hmm. He started out rapping. How did y'all know Coach would be a trilogy? Did y'all plan it like that from the start? They kept counting us out every time we dropped it on the coach. They said it wasn't going to be good as, as, as Coach won. Mm hmm. And every time we came back and proved them right, so we, we wanted to do that. It put that, it put that, you know what I'm saying, that pressure on us. And, and we're like, we had a goal to set, you know what I'm saying, because we always wanted to outshine or out, you know what I'm saying, do the first ones or the second ones, like with music, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, with the videos, y'all filmed in Jamaica for Why Not? Yeah, we what filmed was, that in Jamaica. I saw yeah. Popcorn in there. What was that experience? That was hard. Uh, I'm with Popcorn. Popcorn came. Yeah. That was hard. That's hard. He hard, man. He um, just pulled up? Or? Yeah, he pulled up. He pulled up. Yeah, like a hundred deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, real, yeah real yeah. trench. Yeah. Like, yeah, real yeah. trench, hundred deep. I ain't playing. Yeah, they pulling up. How nah, but Jamaica? we were shooting the Cali video. Make it fun. We were shooting. Yeah, we shot the her video with Cali, and then we just we shot out that video time. Said we about to shoot our video. That's like Cali was very hospitable. Yeah, my wife's nah. a player. What, what did he lay out for y'all? Respectfully. Man. He's <laughs> he sent the jet. He, he, he having he having good chef when you get to the house. But he sent the jet, had a chef. He got the best chef in the yeah, world. Y'all ain't. Y'all got to eat over there. Y'all ain't eat over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> That's when you got it. That, that's crazy. Yeah, that's when you go make the record, though. You feel me? Yeah. So, so when y'all clear to make the record, all right, I'm going to send the jab. I'm going to get the chef. Yeah. Put y'all up. <laughs> that's one call. You know, I, need I got a record for you. Yeah. Get the I record. Need you to get here. After we do, actually, where you want to shoot the record? I said, I never went to Jamaica. He said, we gone. Yeah. Boom. Fired up the jet. Right, we yeah. got shot the video. Shot our video. And shit, it was magic ever since then. Yeah, man, after, man. after the video, he said, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Good. Y'all good. Y'all chill. Y'all yeah. Y'all okay. Yeah, and Cali fit the whole bill? In Georgia, Jamaica. Cali fit the whole bill. I guess. God. <laughs> <laughs> God. 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 Pop Smoke was 1,000, Jeff. Always R.P. Rest his soul, always just ready to learn, just lock in, just soak it up. And every time he just, he always just reacted fast like he already knew what he wanted to do. And then Bobby, shit, they've been our dogs since 2013, and we just stayed locked Sweet in ever yeah. since. Mm -hmm. Y'all doing an album with him? Y'all doing an album together? A project? With Bobby? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, to finish the Shmigo. Shmigo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like y'all made that powerhouse. 
back in the day? I don't think that was the first time. I, I think it was oh, Rochester. Okay. It was, it, was, it was like Rochester, yeah. New York or something like that. Y'all got family out here? Because you be in the lo- the craziest spots <laughs> in, in New York. I be seeing you pop up and be like, how the fuck are you here? You know I'm having we family. family. Yeah, well, you know I'm having family. family. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm family. <laughs> uh, I was like, um. So, yeah, that makes us got family. Mm-hmm. We got family out here, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because Quavo, you, you, even with Pop Smoke, you was on him early. For sure. Like, y'all was for connected sure. early. Don't you got an album or something Yeah, together? we we had we, we had one. We had a whole bunch of songs we was finna put together. I don't know if we're gonna do it now. I gotta holler at Stevie Victor, but that's who made it happen. I just told him he was hard, and he was in L.A. I told him to pull up on me then. Ever since then, we was just, we made Shake the Room and Light It Up, the one that's on our album. We made that shit twice the same day. Went to London, made, like, four records, West Coast shit. Um, every time we got together, we just made something and put it out, so. And I heard you say on the new album that you wish you could have him uh, up under your wing. So even when y'all had that time together, what was the relationship like? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like mentoring and just making sure he, you know what I'm saying, going through what we were, go- you know what I'm saying, going through mm-hmm. the right motions and asking about females and all type of things like that. How, how do situations like that, uh, you know, alter the way y'all move? You know what I mean? When you see the, the, the untimely things that happen to brothers like Pop Smoke. Gotta move militant, man, move. Like you got you got something to lose. I got kids to go home to. You know what I'm saying? So it's important, just it's important and it ain't I don't be believing in a tough man, like I'ma pay what I gotta pay to protect my family, everything. I'm got I'm having security in my house. Mm-hmm. Sitting so outside my house twenty four hours. You gotta protect yourself. Yeah, you you can work for a lot. Yeah. You can lose a lot. Crazy right now. A lot of people you depend robberies on robberies and carjackings. You see the, the security guard got shot at Lennox Mall. Did that, that make like y'all a- move different in your own hometown? Nah, no, it definitely make you move different, make you think about life, you know what I'm saying, Mo? Think about your decisions. And you be like, man, so many stuff, so much stuff happened. We got to move, you know what I'm saying? We got to move right. I'm glad to hear that, because all said, you come a long way from jumping off stage with the Falcon Punch <laughs> and getting your own hands dirty, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, you got you to gotta, you gotta clean up, understand the business side of everything, and become a man for real. And moving right, yeah, in that aspect too, Offset, we know you're good and married, but for Takeoff and, and Quavo, how do you know a woman loves you for you? Like, how do you even date now, not knowing what people's intentions are? I don't, it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> what you see? Uh, so you gotta be scared to, to death. That's what I asked them, that's why I asked them on the new album, what you see, I wanna know what they see. <laughs> I really know what, what they see, cause... About a hundred million. I feel like they see what they say everybody else, so I'm trying to see. What y'all see? So how do you uh, date? Like, what do you do? You DMs? Is it people you know? Is it somebody hook me up? I ain't got no tea now. You try to get some tea. No, I'm, <laughs> you ain't got to name names, but I'm just saying, like, you know, let's get, how do you... Let's just go right here for some tea. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no tea. You ain't got to be specific, but I'm just saying, like, how does it happen then? Because, like I, mean, I said, you don't know... Um, I feel like everything happened for a reason, so I feel like if God... <laughs> nah, 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 for real, nah, nah, for real, so I believe, I believe in God, so I feel like God got that special one for me, and I be asking him, like, when I, you know what I'm saying, if I do run into somebody, is this the one? You don't know, you know what I mean? So I be telling him, I feel like he gonna let me know when it's the one. Good answer. That's a that. hell of a line, too. Hey, man, hey, God man. God gonna let me know. Any woman that asks you that, that's what you say. If it's God's will... That's what I'm saying. Take that, ye. Hey, Amen. God. Uh, <laughs> Quavo, hold on, Quavo oh, didn't answer. How do you know what somebody wants from you, though? Like, you just live and you learn, you just go through the motions. Mm-hmm. See, I ain't got time to be living and learning and going through the motions. <laughs> 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 I ain't got too many mistakes to make, you know what I mean? Now, now what have been the benefits of being in a group the past 10 years? You got brothers to call and talk about all this good everything. shit. <laughs> everything. I can talk to them about anything. I ain't got to hold back now. Mm-hmm. What's the celebration like for y'all? Like when the album was done and turned in, what did you guys do? At the house, just going crazy. Just <laughs> oh, went out to eat. Yeah, yeah. we did eat too though. Yeah. Probably go out to eat today too. Y'all ain't tired at all. I seen y'all in Miami one night. Y'all Man, went to LA the next slept. night. We haven't got no sleep. Atlanta the next ain't no night. Sleep. We woke this morning. We probably ain't no getting sleep. like three hours of sleep since this whole these last two weeks. That's why no, you got the game holograms. last night. Yeah. That's yeah. why you got yeah, the holograms won. everywhere. So now we got the holograms in the city. We trying to time travel. Anybody got a time traveling machine, just let her know. For real. That's what we trying to do. I feel like y'all y- y'all had a wager with Meek or something for the game last night. Y'all ain't putting no money yeah, up? Yeah, if we got, I got a $10,000 um, bet. Dang. If we tied, we going up another dime, but yeah, we tied last night, but he ain't want to bet. You know okay. What I'm What's your prediction for the whole thing? I think the Hawks going to beat these boys. All, like, win everything? Really? I think the Hawks going to beat Philly. And then, and then whoever we play, we going to beat. We got, it depends it's on a lot of extra players. We're going to take advantage of that. Yeah, Brooklyn, yeah, they just, 
Yeah. Brooklyn got some I missing folks. Brooklyn banged Brooklyn up got right some now. Some missing, it got some missing important, important missing folks. But you got Milwaukee. Milwaukee good though. I ain't go front, man. I like Trey Young. I like I like the way he talks. See, don't nobody they can't guard no point guard. No nobody got a true point guard in the NBA, and that's what you know. what I'm saying that's that's the difference when you got a scoring point guard because you got a double team move. Then he find, he finds somebody open. All you gotta do is do your job. Now, now let's talk about this uh, Mount Rushmore of Atlanta. Because I saw y'all talking about that. Is that is that an all time list? Y'all feel like y'all should be on it just all the past time, decade? Not, not shout out to the city, but all time yeah, all though. Time. Uh, it's bigger than, you feel me? Yeah. Once you create definitely. something. That... We should be on there with y'all. All time. Atlanta. Us. See, yeah, we got to have our head connected as one, so that's one. That's one, right? Yeah, I say Gucci, like you said. Mm hmm. Uh, but Tip. Mm hmm. I, I feel about... Little John, JD, like, about... Tip. All the way around. Oh, all time in all, I'm all saying all time, all time I feel like Little John, J D Tip, and Outcast is one. Yeah, I put Outcast on there. I just gonna say that Outcast is one. one. So got to put Outcast. Um, yeah, so we gotta redo that. So it's us, Outcast. So but if you, I, I think y'all a certain era. So I feel like it would be like y'all, Gucci, Future, and somebody. They said all time. We talking about all time, right? Mm-hmm. We're going all time. All time is tough, man. All time. For the all time. time. It's only folks with it, folks basing. Yeah, folks basing. So with us, okay. Well, come on, what else? What we got? You gotta put Little John on it. Little John gotta be on I this somewhere. How big is this mountain? <laughs> yeah, how big is it? That's an outcast. Like right the Crunk era part. helped raise yeah. it, in, in, a, in a lot of ways. Crunk? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's how we. It was the point we. That's how we had. Mm -hmm. He created. All, he created a lot of lanes for Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So God. you got to put the boy Little John on now. You ain't wrong. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, John, he, he, he brought a lot of people behind him. Crunk, Snap, that's all John. And he still getting money. He's that Crunk and the Snap. He's right. Yeah. Right. And EDM. He went EDM. Yeah. Think you ain't going to put Soulja Boy on there? No, man. Soulja not even from Atlanta. Yeah, I'm going to start this. That's about you. Soulja Boy started it. Don't mess with Soulja Boy. The record with Juice World, when did y'all do that record? Was it when he was live or was that a universe? Yeah, um, yeah, we did it when uh, he was alive. My, uh, my boy Murder, he had hit me up. Uh, he was going to use it for his project. Mm -hmm. And I had did a verse for him. And then afterwards, I talked to Juice, he hit me up. And he heard the song. He, was, he liked it. And he was looking for, uh, looking towards the boys getting on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's when we had Unfortunately, got Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. but, so we had to make it happen. Yep. You know, we, we've all heard rumors uh, over the past decade of, of the Migos breaking up. Was, was there ever a moment where that was really true? Never. No, man. man. <laughs> we got re real blood family, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta say that. Never that. said that too. That's cow. I ain't never you heard. That. You know they say that's cow. You never heard that. Uh, that's just source of show. They just be online all the time. Migos leaving. Quavo going with Kanye. This and that. Oh, like man, that's off, cow, man. bad and bougie was off that song by itself. See what's wrong with the generation is they always trying to divide and conquer, man. That's a, that's what be going on. Like need to uplift. Mm -hmm. Who's the best and who's this? I might see something on Instagram. They got two different artists. Be like, tap if this person better and like if this person. That went wrong with the generation. Why mm -hmm. they can't be uh, both on fire? You know right. what I'm saying? Or, or is this trash or is this, you know what I'm saying, garbage or whatever? Like, because everything be like hard. It should, mm -hmm. We should be yeah, up, we ain't you know what what saying, each other. Money. Yeah. Majority everything of these platforms good. be, you know what I'm saying? Same, you feel me? The same, our same color. And they be doing some of the shadiest. What's the name? Maybe so tripping. We need to just, you know what I'm saying, Generation. do better. Mm -hmm. Out of 700 songs, how do you come together and decide which ones make it, though? You stand out. Come on. We just get the gang in the room. We just play them and play the day we put in front of the yeah. day ones. And, uh, it'd be like six, um, seven, six or seven already. Just you don't, you don't even question. You knew Avalanche was on there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You knew Straightening was there. Was there. Straightening was on there. Yeah. So we came to get some straightening. We had to put that one on there. Mm -hmm. I can't believe y'all got to explain what that is to people. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm like, I'm like from I, the you gotta give him the lingo. You from the south? Yeah. So you understand straightening. Your parents used to say that to you. Yeah, get this little boy, get, get this boy some straightening. Yeah. Yeah. See, I appreciate that, son, man. I, I, I can't I believe people asking y'all what that means. And lost yeah, too. Man, you gotta get an understanding for you. You know what I'm saying? Get some straightening. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can't get nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Ain't no straightening Tell unless you get some straightening. Y'all haven't had to do that to nobody in a while, though, right? Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
We got straightened with the album. All the time. Yeah. Anybody that was playing with the name Migos, we got straightened with this album. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Any, anybody who thought anything, any thought process. Put some respect, like my boy, what nice from old friend. Yeah, right here. Put some respect on it. So you feel like people was questioning whether or not this was going to be... Nah, y'all going to put some respect on my name. Oh, God. Nah, nah, go ahead, do your thing. No, you know what's great, though, is for you guys all separately, individually, have your own things going on, but that you could come together, and, and that's what's powerful, right? That you all have all these separate projects. Uh, that happen, and then you're able to say, okay, now it's time for the Migos to regroup like Voltron and... You gotta and stay with your foundation. Mm -hmm. Three headed months can't have no home without the foundation. So can we talk about the individual projects, too, that you guys have? I know my, my girl Street. Ricky was working with you on a show, a streetwear show, right? Ricky. Yeah, that's Ricky. my girl. HBO, man. Ricky, she, 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 she's amazing. Mm -hmm. Black, strong, powerful woman. And she had yes. me, and she put, she, she, she fired, I love her. For sure. We, uh, we did a, uh, a, a, a show that's gonna come on HBO Max called The Hype about um, streetwear designers and giving them a chance to shine because you know a lot of the big designers take their dripping, go and make all the money from it, they don't never get the credit, so we're giving them a chance. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all that's right. all right, brother. Hell uh, yeah, wasn't that show supposed to be on Quibi? Nah. That was something else? HBO Max. Quibi was the, 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 the gaming show I had. Gotcha, then, gotcha. then the other show I had when I did Jay Leno's Car Garage and stuff like that, yeah. So how did, how did going solo impact the group, though? What did y'all learn when y'all went to go off to do y'all solo projects? How did that impact the group when y'all came back together? Can't nobody, they still can't fuck with us. We yeah. just do, we, we can we can do it any way you want to come. Because all our albums were successful. <laughs> and we still come back and be successful as one. So I feel like we just a different group. We need to get, they need to, we need to, they need to put that, put us in a different shelf. Because I don't be, I don't know no other group that did that. Actually, now that we talk about it, like drop separate projects and then come back successful as a group again on you. Bomb. Wu Tang. But but ain't nothing bigger than the Okay, okay. Shout out to Wu Tang. Yeah, yeah, Wu -Tang. Wu -Tang. yeah since we did right behind that's good with me. Behind Wu Tang. That hard. Ain't nothing ain't nothing bigger than the group. And we realize, you know what I'm saying, the bigger the group get, we get individually. So, you know what I mean? We just worry about the group and get I, it to its highest, you know what I'm saying, potential. I just deal with the pandemic, cause y'all stay on the road, stay on we the. We turned festival. the pandemic. We turned the pandemic into a pandemic. You, you know that's the shit that we on. No. Yeah. And you with Real. your kids? Gotta know your kids in school, so you gotta you you gotta be a teacher now. Yeah, the homeschool thing. I wasn't letting them go to school, so the, that, that that was crazy learning to try to keep them. They so young, like to keep them paying attention to the computer at first was hard. They weren't trying to do that. I might look my daughter Lily. She be look. She be there while I'm dead, and I go to my room, come out. She watch the TV. The thing playing and the camera off. How you know how to do that? <laughs> well, she's smart. She's smart. Yeah. She mean, boy. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. How's fatherhood changed you, Offset? Um, you know, it make you uh see the bigger picture, see see the real light to life. You know what I mean? Like you be living by yourself so sometimes and young and with no guidance. So now you gotta guide them. Now I gotta guide them. And they really, my kids really pay attention to me. Tell me like anything I'm doing. Or I just catch them. Like if I'm if I'm po about to post a video, my kids are staring at me, so I notice that I influence them so big. So if I be on some bull, they gonna be on it, no matter who, what position I'm in. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So just being a responsible father, being there for them. I ain't had that. So a lot of times, I done made some I done made some big mistakes, big mistakes in life. Mm -hmm. So I try to stay on mine. Yeah, I remember when you was here by yourself, and then you was talking about wanting a relationship with your pops, and then you you ran into him somewhere. Ran into him. <laughs> I ran into him, oh, boy. Chill out, bro. You know what I mean? I ran into him. Shout out to him, man. That looked like love, though. Yeah, it was love, love, yeah. love. Extended. I helped him out, you know what I mean? Had a you relationship know. now. Haven't seen him since? Um, I seen him. I, I, he called me, I answered the phone, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Pops, man. I don't want to drag Pops through the mud or nothing not like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was nice meeting him. I mean, nice, nice. I did. That's something I accomplished through my life. You know what I mean? So that's what's up. Absolutely. Take off during the pandemic. What were you doing? See what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> still spinning. You know what I mean? Chilling with the fam. Mm -hmm. Fam time working. Watching movies. Like what? Because I, I was saying the other day, I never really get to watch movies and TV like that until this pandemic. So what kind of things were well, you like, What kind of movies? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, still man. Spending. What was you buying during the pandemic? Man, I bought some watches. I bought me two, three <laughs> watches, some chains. I bought this through the pandemic. When as soon as it started, 
That was the time to buy all that real estate in Atlanta. Yeah, I got all that real estate in Atlanta. It's early. Triple. I, I was supposed My to stuff tripled in Atlanta. That's what I'm on now. See that? Your house went up $2 million. Two M's. Yeah, God damn. The sun. <laughs> 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 My wife told me, too. Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Why, why did Jesus' peace take off? Was it for spiritual reasons? or? Because, uh, you know, yeah, without him, none of us would be here. That's, That's what right. a lot of people don't realize. Yeah. And, um, you know what I mean? We religious. I'm Christian. And I keep God first. And I put my grandma name on the back. Um, I lost my grandma, so Damn. it means a lot to me. Sorry. So I, I wear this. I miss. I wear it all the time. Even if I got other jewelry on, I, and, I, and they don't go right with the setup, I still tuck it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it up on me. Mm -hmm. Now they said you the movie man. So what was you? What was you on? Uh, I was, everything that's new. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I was watching the the uh, little series like The Godfather of Harlem, little mm -hmm. Snowfalls. Okay. That's what I've been on recently. Mm -hmm. And I watched like little documentaries. Like, I rewatched stuff like the old Tyson documentary, Little Five Heartbeats, just, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Jane, the Five Heartbeats Jane classic. Jane Brown. So, yeah, just classy stuff. And just, what's up? Just new. new. How about you, Quaver? What you did during the pandemic? Uh, I was shooting some movies, getting into it. Um, shooting some movies. What about, so production, production is your thing, too. So are you gonna, are you gonna go, like, real deep into it as far as producing for other artists and... I just like producing for us, if it make me feel like, you know what I'm saying, on some just... Been doing that since 8th yeah, grade, been doing this man. Shit, shit since I was in 8th grade, but I don't never, like, take the credit for it, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I don't like tags and shit like that. I just like just being in behind the scene, but I most definitely like like messing with beats. And I'll make them for other artists, but you'll never know if I, if I did it or not. Until Why? you see, like, the credit. Oh, until you see you know the credit. You know what I'm saying, stuff like that, yeah. And I saw you produced a horror movie, right? Yeah, I um, scored a horror film and, and, and executive produced a horror film called The Resort. It's out right now. And it's it's a, it's a scary movie. Shot at my boy Will. And that's it. I feel like that's going to be the next uh, the next level for all of the Migos, the TV film world. Yeah, we, yeah, we like it. We love TV. Yeah, put me on TV.